We're live. Yes. Thank God. This took forever to set up because English, Japanese compatibility is less than perfect. Ah! Okay. But no, this is Yume Tsuki. Anyone who knows anything about RPG horror has probably heard of Yume Niki. This game is a fan game that is a collaboration of all different kinds of creators who like the series and may probably made their own. So this one is going to be like Yume Niki. It's going to be very big and you'll see in a second. There's a bit of a disclaimer at the start. So I'll just let that roll before I start explaining things that it covers anyway. Yumetsuki is a work in progress game. There are many events that are not yet implemented. The game worlds may not feel visually connected because there are several developers. Please note, this has no connection to either Kikiyama or Yumeniki. This is a fan game. But in Japanese it's still pronounced Yumeniki. That's the point. But it's called Yumetsuki as like a... Like a... A sequel. Yumetsuki is only a hobby to many developers. Because of this, it is not a first priority for many of them. If you have events or ideas, map changes, or requests, then please join the team. Your contributions could help speed up the game's development. As long as you have a PC, you can help develop. Programmers can easily program their own world. World, world, world. Change the world. Programmers, artists, and musicians wanted. There you go. Also, uh, just gonna let you know right now, volume warning, the loudest sound effect in the world is about to play. So, uh, fair warning here. I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The game flows. Room, bed, dreaming, wake up, repeat. You know the controls, all right there. Boat effects. Effects are found while dreaming. Press, hold, shift, unequip. All right, I have no idea how any of that works. That wasn't so bad. All right, that's good because it's fucking, it was real bad for me when I was testing it. It was so loud. Lovely squeaky noise. Nice. So I didn't test too much of this game. The only thing I did test was, I'm just gonna make a save until I don't do that over again. The music room, I don't know how to get out of it. So that's broken. I don't know what half of this stuff does, but what I do know is, specifically for this game, uh, unlike Yume Niki and stuff, when you activate different events in the dream world, it unlocks wallpapers for your computer. And you can, uh, you can just set them as your desktop background because you come here to save. So, there's just many of those to unlock. I got a new wallpaper. I guess. No, that was the one I started with. But that's all in that. We're not gonna sleep yet. Show off some of the area. So, different perspective this time on the balcony. There's just two giant mountains. Control 6 is a little wonky. I guess we'll just get right into it. See what happens. You're pretty much contractually obligated to spam that emote every time I enter the dream world. You can sleep in your dreams. You have to update the subscriptions section of your about page. Yeah, you're right. Can I use my computer in the dream world? I, I can. Can I do anything? Can I check my mail? Can I play Yume Niki in my dream while playing Yume Niki? It's 
probably different events scripted to that. I'll just have to check it every time. No skeletons in this closet. Oh. Okay, alright. Uh, there- Wow. There is a lot to cover here. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, where to first? What looks fun? Where do we start? Yeah, this is massive. Clam whirl? Where's clam? That one. That helped. Yeah, let's try the door. Stone door. Wow, great dreamscape. Nice job, guys. The one over there. No, the one over there. Bubbles. Alright. I mean, to be fair, some of these things aren't exactly the most beautiful looking pictures. Oh my god, nobody can agree on anything. The one above the door. The honeycomb? Okay. Sneak peeks are lame. Let's do it. I don't have anything. I think the most important item to find would be the bike to move faster. What are you? Who is the character? I don't remember her name. Urotsuki. There you go. Hello. Can I enter? I don't have any effects. So I guess I'm just walking around. There is a complete guide on the wiki, at least. So once exploration becomes trivial and a pain in the ass, I can just start looking for events. But for now, we can just kind of explore the dreamscape. So I figured this was a good thing to do the rest of October to because it fits the theme sort of. Maybe not necessarily spook. But it's weird enough that I can kind of get away with that. Funny enough, when I, I looked this up today, actually, and turns out today they just really recently, like today, I mean, they released the next uh, version of this game. I don't have that version though because it's not translated yet. Hello. Um. Um. So why didn't anyone tell me the blob monster was bad? It got eaten, I think. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> okay. But there's a way out of this. You can use this. And now I'm awake. Alright. Time to go back to sleep. Let's try that again. Didn't get much out of that world. Heads up, the blob monster is bad. Well, I know that now. He looked friendly. He kind of looked like a walrus. I wish I had a flashlight. This world's dark as shit. Do you like the noise she makes when she walks? It's kind of cute. I wonder what it would be like to have dreams like this. Oh, he doesn't look very friendly at all. Maybe I won't talk to him again. of a bird chirp yeah I can hear that yeah like imagine if you were a very light sleeper or lucid dreamer and every time you went to sleep you just walked around whatever the hell your subconscious delivered to you wouldn't that be weird most of the time people forget their dreams they don't even aware they're having them 
Sometimes we have nightmares. But in these dream exploration games, these characters seem to be fully aware that they're asleep. And they just kind of walk around. It's a neat idea. You can really see how twisted you are on your own inside. Oh, I found something. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got something though. Wear a steel drum on your body. How do I? How do I use it? Okay, now, now, now I'm, now I'm a drum. <laughs> looks like flannel. Oh, he looks like the other guy. Maybe I won't touch him. Okay, I will say. I'm not the biggest fan of worlds that are just the color black on gray. And there's no defining like characteristic. Like I don't know where I'm going. It's just these guys. Can I walk through this? Yes, I can. Oh. The thing about these dream exploration games is while there is a hub world, there is not a quick transport to every area in the game. Some areas have sub areas, basically, which may or may not be where I've ended up. However, this is the least entertaining one I think I could have found because I can't see. It reminds me- oh, you know what this reminds me of? Oh, especially this part. The stupid hell maze from Yumeniki. Where you just get teleported to a big old red maze. And you gotta navigate it. And there's like two warp points and everything else is a mess. And it's like the largest map in the entire game. Okay, what is happening? Now I'm just getting a headache. Oh. <laughs> Stone cold hell. Let's try this. Well, let's try this. Let's go over here, see what this does. <laughs> Next game. <laughs> This map could use, like, anything, just to make it look a little bit better. This might be different. No, this looks... This looks for... Yep, that's great. The music loop's having some difficulty too. I keep getting a chirp. Oh my god, I'm lost. Surely there's something in here. a slider puzzle. Okay, it would at least be something. 
Am I related to Christian somehow? No. No idea who that is. Where am I? Maybe I should just pick a direction and continue walking along it forever. Alright, we're gonna go down until something happens. Or I get bored. Hey, something happened! I already ran into that guy. I already ran into that guy too. Maybe. Okay, I'm about five seconds away from pinching my cheek. I... Let's walk on to Mega Man 2. Uh, or you play as a little girl in a steel drum instead of Mega Man. What happened? I touched the magical Batman and he made me start playing Mega Man 2. So, and now I need to pinch my cheek. I didn't know- I- I have no idea what I was supposed to do in there. I got- I got eaten on purpose. <laughs> I'm just gonna save. Don't go to the sound room. I got a new wallpaper, wanna see it? Okay. That- that little- that little ghost girl. Is adorable. Look at her. Do I get another one? Oh, I got more. <laughs> well, there you go. Me and my steel drum. Let's see these other ones first. Oh, well, that's nice. I don't know what I'm getting these for, but I got them. That's also really nice. But I'm, put, I'm putting little spooky girl back on. <laughs> Look at her! Oh, she's so cute. There we go, let's play a video game. I have no idea what this is. Huh? What? Oh. Oh, it's like... Oh, I see. Ah. What? That's bullshit. Uh, you didn't give me the one to beat her. Okay, as you can see, not everything is translated. I'm gonna give that one more go, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do I'm good. Let's go. Let's get a hundred. What? Dog, slow down. Oh, I goofed. Ninety-nine. All right, no, no give me a hundred. Give me a hundred. Oh, I see the problem. If I press down on the stick. It uh, brings them down, and because the control stick on an Xbox controller has no uh, notches, I keep bringing them down accidentally. Stop with the yellow one. Clear screen. I didn't mean to do that.
Weird game. Kind of nice music for it, though, which is weird to say. No. Stop falling. Stop! I stop hitting the stick. Ah, get out of my face. Give me the red. Give me the red. Shoot the blue one. There's no penalty. <laughs> Let's shoot for 1,000. We've come this far. Woo! Oh, damn it. Alright, I'll take 685. Fine. Sleepy time. Play till you overflow the number. I'm not able to do that. I don't know if that's doing that on its own or I'm causing it to come down, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Okay. I'm gonna go back to Honeycomb World and see if there's anything else in there besides the steel drum. I don't like that I fell into it. There's gotta be something around here. Except for Blob Boy. Let's not touch Blob Boy. What if I managed to pick the worst one to start? Wouldn't that be something? Oh my goodness. These control sticks are very, very picky because they don't have diagonal inputs, so it just tries to read an input of any kind. Hey, I found a car! Okay. Who's driving, me or you? Why, thank you! Where am I? Hello there. Can I interest you in a steel drum? I see something. How do I reach it? The goal is now to get to the center. There we go. What are you? You make a disgusting noise. <laughs> Fascinating. I don't really know where I wanted to end up. So let's just keep climbing, I guess. Another squishy friend. Hello, squish friend. Okay. Goodbye, squish friend. Anything that makes a squishy noise is not good. A gross squishy noise. What the hell? Good thing you're behind this tree. 
I don't know if I can show you on Twitch. Hey, I found something. Explore a bit more. What? What are these things? Remember this place when you get the knife? I can't go stab Squish Friend. This thing, maybe? <laughs> Th that thing? Okay, maybe that thing. Ooh, I found things. I didn't want a cold one. I'm buying. I lied. Um... Can I call for help? Uh... 911. Okay, let's try... 119. Okay, let's talk to... Sorry, could you repeat that? I see. Understand. Have a wonderful day. She won't go in there. Even, even in your dreams you won't use the incorrect bathroom. I tried 1 one ten. Or, sorry, I tried 110. I got nothing from it. Nothing worked. Let's try the back room. I have an idea. believe aliens aren't gamers. Wait, did I did I walk in here? That was locked. I guess just walking on a bridge nice stars maybe I should get off the road <clears throat> okay Way to use my effects. Let me see. No, no, put it back on. I want to be drum. Oh, God. Confirm, yep. Ah! Press and hold shift unequipped. Press and hold confirm to use effects. What? A drum doesn't do anything. Confirmed. I would like to, like, go sideways and roll down this highway. So this isn't the highway to hell. Where is it? Drum makes me fashionable. Oh, yes. I love wearing steel drums. It's a very bold fashion statement. Uh, this is Sonic CD. I'm racing Metal Sonic. You just can't see him because he's very, very, very far behind me. This is what it means to be fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one more try, and then I'm going to turn around because this is going nowhere. But with these games, you can never be sure. 
Okay, I'm leaving. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, look at that. Um. Do I... Do I wait for it? Do I call it down? I don't have the ability to call it down. Walk more. You got it, champ. Wow, I really tried to stop right before the exit. I was gonna drink water, but not anymore. Now I'm in the tunnel. All this from Honeycomb Land. Stop moving. Why would I stop moving? I'm just walking around. Whoa, Jesus. Alright. Uh, that was cool. <laughs> Caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, he definitely ran through me. I took my hand off the controller and everything. Oh, and now it's dark. Let's get off the road now. There we go. That's much better. You know what's really nice about this game? Is the music is very good. A lot of these dreamscapes that aren't just outright nightmares just have very relaxing sounds to them. Got some buildings. Buildings that don't work. Fence maze. No, not the demons. You know how long it took me to get here? I don't want to go play- I don't want to play Mega Man 2 again. You better not chase me. Ha, <laughs> idiot. No, I'm going further down. Are these gonna work? No. Wait. No. Nah, he ain't gonna get me now. He's weak. And I am strong. Why did I do this? What did I think was going to happen? Give <laughs> my water. What? What? Um, I'm not crazy, right? What the fuck just happened? Okay, then. Alright. I'm secretly a genius. Oh, hello.
Hello. Hello. That's a doll. What do you know? All right, well, I found something, I guess. That's cool. I guess I'll leave. And come back. And leave. And come back. And leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where did they go? Come back. No, they just went to bed. That's okay. They're tired. I'm tired. We're all tired. That's weird. I'm trying to figure out what that does. Alright, well, I'm not sure. So, I'm just going to... Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Hi. Okay, this thing is adorable. <laughs> it looks like a ditto. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Alright, well, let's do it again. We're just kind of watching the story unfold, I guess. Change before, it can change again. Okay, that's probably the older sister, but... They both have two different dolls. Is there another event I'm missing here? Or do I just need an item to interact with these guy, these girls? I'll do a few more entries here to see if anything changes. Cause you gotta remember, Ubo is like a one in sixty-four chance. One more try. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. That's what I like about these games is they don't make any sense, but. The further in you go, the more intrigued you get by it. The more you want to figure out and learn. What I don't like is this happened. Now in order to get back here, I have to go through that whole highway again. Oh my god. How do I get out? I pinch my cheek and restart. That's how. No, there's no way out of here. Um, well, it was nice to meet you. I'm now a drum. That's not- Oh, cover your ears! Ah! I needed to wake up. Okay. I wonder if it's those two. I'll save. We got new wallpapers, let's check them out. No, isn't that cute? What else we got? Oh, that's a nice one. You know, I actually think you can get all these wallpapers for your own desktop. If you can, then I might have to look into that, because some things are really well done. Nope. Alright, we'll go back to the spooky girl. I want this one. <laughs> this one makes me happy. <laughs> Okay, saved. It's dark outside now. Huh. I wonder if this changed. It never hurts to check, I suppose. Let's go back. Oh, remind me to check the TV as well, just in case something happens. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say that? 
Uh, yeah, that's cool. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, I suppose. Alright. Uh... Alright, chat, what do we think? Honeycomb world, I... I don't know if I want to go back in there. I think I want to spice it up a bit. Where should we go next? Somewhere in the general area close to the door. Clam. What is the clam? Top left. Oh, that is a clam! Alright, some are saying the blue, some are saying the, the clam. Try red cog. You are the outlier here. Uh, I'll go with clam. This is the first one I saw. Alright. Take me where I need to go. Okay, this is not a clam at all. This is exactly the kind of world I figured she'd take me to. I have no comment. <laughs> well done, Lady P. You have certainly taken us on a trip. I can make sound effects, but I can't leave. I leaved. Let's do it again. Alright, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Why did I listen to you? <laughs> Why did you take me here? Where am I? here uh, hello hi that's okay that's just crust <laughs> it looks like plankton <laughs> for something. Maybe you can tell me what I need to find. Well, now I'm here again. Oh, that's the starting point. Okay. There must be something in that general area. Hi, guys. Plankton! Can you direct me to the one of the guy that... Direct me to the way out of here. Please. You know what I want? I want the bike. So I can move faster. That would save a lot of time. I'm back at the start again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way this time. I'm now a nose. Ooh! New stuff! Hello, globby goose. Ow! Hmm. 
Now I'm super electric. Move forward. I want in. <laughs> Mike was asking. Well, I see that uh, our character here has seen her fair share of children's movies and cartoons. I don't see much else here, though. No, I think it's just a sweet rave party. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. This looks sinister. Ah, oh, yes. Hello, demon father. Goodbye, demon father. We're going up here now, I guess. It's a good thing I got a steel barrel. This is fine. Yeah, this is great. That's not our father. That is the father. What's that up there? Like that double squeak she's doing. Hello. Goodbye. Whoa, look at that. Reminds me of Jaws. Fascinating. Save him, he's drowning. Me and what limbs? I can't reach him, he's got five hands. He can grab the ledge. Well, the world of Silent Hill is different. This is a world that takes place entirely within the subconscious of one little girl. Silent Hill is some kind of crazy cult bullshit. Guess we're going this way. I don't know any other way to go. <laughs> this, this, this is my favorite character. The man whose face just says, go that way. Let's go that way, then. Why would a man... Oh, that... Where did that go? Well, hello, Michael Jackson. Well, goodbye, Michael Jackson. I just wanted to sit with you, buddy. That's weird. I don't want to wait for the bus. <laughs> Chad, do I have to? <laughs> oh God. I'm putting on my drum.
if you don't do that. What's going on? You can't hurt me while I'm in my barrel. <laughs> Is there anything in this room? Do the safety dance. <laughs> I don't... I don't like that. There's nowhere to run. I turned on the lamp. Maybe I should read my instructions at the lamp. I'm gonna do that. Please watch your ears. Yep. Okay, there's something in here, but there's not much I can do, so I guess I'm just gonna leave. Hold on, I can... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's just a little lamp. No, it looks like he's done. I just thought since I could open the door like that, something was gonna happen. Oh well. We don't have to ever go back in that room ever again. Unless we do. There's him up there. Uh, chat, wasn't there only one pair of slippers when I came in this building? Guess we'll go on up to the guest room. There was two? Alright. That's cool, too. So, Majora, we meet again. Those masks are not creepy at all. No, you're right. Uh, who cares about them? Let's just go in the basement. Can I help you? Enjoy your stay. I got a coin. Yeah, I checked them in. I am now one dollar richer. Hi. Perhaps I should use this coin to spend the night here. Lest I be haunted by whatever that is. game makes you uncomfortable. I find it incredibly interesting, but it's also quite unnerving. I didn't want to leave yet. No, let me back in. I'll take a look around. Yes. Yes. Time to enjoy the bath. You die? For one dollar, that's a steal. Chat, pretend that didn't happen. How's that sound? For the rest of this creepy hotel. <laughs> Go back, you coward. I'm not done looking around. Hello. 
Hi. Hello, gang. How are you all? Such a lovely place. That's not very lovely at all. The other place had their bath filled up. Hello, ghost man. I, I didn't mean to kick you out of bed. There. Now we sleep together. Sit on your cushion. It's comfortable there. Too early to go to sleep. The most effective things about this game is that nothing actually really happens, but you think there will be. Every time. You don't look so good. Can I offer you an egg? Alright, shoot yourself. Okay. I'm gonna stand right here and enjoy the noises. Um, I think I might have stayed in there a little bit too long. Thank you, I think. What just happened? Let's do it again. I don't think it'll work again. Oh, I can't leave with this on. That was really strange. Kind of cool, though. i just not sure if there's anything I could have done aside from get grabbed by that dude. But, you know, the main point of playing right now is just to explore different events. And once I get lost or can't find anything, that's when we start looking at guides. That is not so good. Are you okay? Perhaps. Okay, I thought... Alright. He's okay, he's just dead. Yeah, that's what I thought, but you need to be sure. Couple of interesting guests we ran into there. Let's go rent a room for ourselves. And then we'll go back to the uh, wardrobe room, I suppose. Oh, there she is, see? Hello. I would like to give you my coin. I don't know what that means. I wonder if this changes the thing up here. I'll check this out again, just because I changed everything else in here. I wonder what the next Galar form we're gonna get is. You know, when you really think about it, Grimer is just Galar region ditto. Oh, 
he's still running. What if I open the door when he runs? Like that. Ready? We're gonna get him. All right, that shuts them up. Neat. There's news tomorrow? Okay. I can't. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, he just kind of stopped. I guess he was just trying to scare me. What a dick. All right, now we can go to wardrobe clappy world. Ah. I love when the lights in my house flicker when I'm exploring a spooky room. It's fantastic. This isn't correct. This isn't correct at all. You guys done flashing? <clears throat> Are these the, uh... The theater masks? Because I recognize the one on the far left. There's like 60-something masks of emotions. What Kokoro is based off of. You're going to go explore your own dreamscape now? Have fun. Hope it's not as bad as this one. Alright. <laughs> Welcome to Narnia. <laughs> Maybe he's got Turkish Delight. Hi. Forgot my safety drum. Hello. <laughs> There's no lion. There's no witch. There's a bunch of fucking wardrobes. I hope that Christian ends up playing Dot Flow. Because I played that one on my own before and it's really good. Hi, I saw you floating in the bathtub. Maybe I'm in Silent Hill again. Hard to be sure. I'm gonna follow the tracks, I suppose. That seems like the safest way to avoid getting lost. You made graffiti. I've never heard of that one. There's a lot of them, just so you know. But I only know the most, uh, the big three. I guess that's just what they look like. Yep, that's a demon, baby. Getting hit by a train is the least of my worries here. Oh yeah, no, there's like, there's hundreds of these things. The problem is, there's so many of them that not all of them are complete. And not all of them have walkthroughs on what's in them. So they're very, very cryptic and no one really knows how to find everything. And then some of them just die early because for various reasons. It's unfortunate. So yeah, the ones that I know personally are this one, Dot Flow, and of course the original, because Dot Flow is probably regarded as the best uh, fan game created. This one being a collaboration by a bunch of different creators, so 
it in itself is already spectacular. You just wanted to roast me. Aren't you one of those fans of mine? You big idiot. Okay, there's not much here. Just, there's just, there's just babies crawling on train tracks. It's fascinating. Oh, I found something. Hmm. Take a seat on the bench. Enjoy the ride. What do you guys think so far? Does the game interest you? Is the series neat? <clears throat> I'm gonna aim to get everything in the game, yeah. But not until after I'm I've explored it to a point where I just want to collect stuff because knowing where to go right away is kind of boring well not boring but the exploration is the coolest part so like I'm just going through doors and finding different stuff and it's all one big new experience like and the music for this game is absolutely fantastic like the ambience on some of these worlds is just done so well like this this world right here there's nothing sinister about it so you just get nice ambient music you walk around and enjoy your uh, enjoy your stroll, but then some of the other areas that are a lot, you know, a little bit scarier, the music is a little more intense. So there's a good mix between nightmare and dream. Speaking of nightmare, I appear to have found one. for in here. Oh, that is no sun, my guy. That is a screaming red dot. I guess I'm just trying to find where this leads. Preferably to an effect. <laughs> Giggy. Guy gets his last cousin, Goigos. It's Goigos. You cannot comprehend. Well, I followed the path laid out to me, but now I'm just lost again. There has to be something here. There's gotta be. Just giving her a look, I suppose. I know how I got here, because it was, there's four of them. One of the fun parts of Yumeniki is the storytelling aspect of the game, where there's not really much narrative or anything to it, but because the entirety of the game is based on one person's head, you can kind of make your own story to it and theory craft it. It's not the same so much for this game because this game is made by a bunch of different authors. So a bunch of different people's visions worked on it. So this chick is crazy. But that's that's one aspect of the games I always liked. It was it was the series where you could end it with it was all a dream and people wouldn't call it a massive cop out. I'm not really sure where to go. I can't even find the exit anymore. Interacting with those doesn't do anything. Like, I feel like there has to be something in here. That's what I mean, though, right? Like, the dream ending's usually such a massive cop-out, but with a game like Yume Niki, it just works. Just go north then. It doesn't work really work like that because the entire map loops. So there's very little indication of where you even are. 
So you kind of just roam until you find something. You are right. I should try to find the bike right away. It'll make this a lot more painless. Uh, if I end up getting stuck and have to go back, then can someone let me know where to find that? That is the only thing I'm going to ask for early on, just because it speeds up the process. Don't bother telling me where to find the knife, because I'm not going to stab anything. Unless it's, like, trying to hurt me. Then I'll hurt it back real fucking good. Wake up and go to the flowers. Okay, I will remember that, but for now I'm still looking around. I kind of just want to find the exit. Because I can't find that. Let's st wait, 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 wait. We got one. We got one. Something different. It didn't get much better. yet it's very very fascinating that I wasn't expecting that it's very fascinating because as I said with these kind of games you kind of have to interpret the entirety of the world is based on things that the character has seen in some form So stuff like that, I imagine discovering a body isn't really something you can get over quite easily. So you just push it to the farthest recesses of your mind, which is where I ended up now. I'm just going so incredibly far into the dreamscape that I'm finding things that she probably doesn't want to remember. Or maybe I'm just getting needlessly deep on that. Uh, that's a... yep. Can I... Can I go back? I hate it here. I haven't, no. And I don't think I would want to. I don't want to touch the slimy. I want to go find that staircase. Okay, we're back here, so the next building will be the right one. 35 effects total. And as I said, that the uh, the next version of this game is out now. It just came out today. But it's not translated yet, so... I figured it's not worth doing that when I don't know anything about the game anyway. So I'd rather play it with translation so I know what's going on. Maybe this game was good for October. The translation really changed the game. Not really, but the translation basically covers... I think there is some text in the game, but I haven't found any yet myself. And it, the menu is also translated. And because I have no idea what these effects are, until I actually like am comfortable with knowing what they are, I don't want to turn everything to Japanese. So I have to keep trying. So I'll leave it for English now. And then I, they'll probably, okay. There would probably be a change log on what's new and then you can just kind of go to the new areas from there. Just learn Japanese. I call it ear. Hello, fella. Hello, other fella. Is that a ninja? Whoa. Suddenly we're in Cool Town. Is that another ninja? That's not a ninja at all.
Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I like the eyeball mouth spaceships. This is going really far. I don't even remember where I entered from, but now I'm all the way in here. And now I'm on Mars, I guess. I guess let's just find something, make the trip worth it. I would love to find an effect. There's so many of them. There's also random events in these kind of games, which can suck because you can't always trigger them. And sometimes you don't even know they exist in the game. So those are another thing I might have to do. There are a few of them I couldn't even trigger in the original Yumaniki. Specifically one of them I remember being unable to trigger was the the Famicom world, the crash. You can like crash the game, so to speak. And then you wake up. I never was able to trigger that one. But then you have like actually important events. Like uh, the face and Kyo Kyo Kun where you can just completely miss it. But those those events were actually pretty prominent in putting together uh, Matosuki's lore. So, yeah, hope I find some of those first try. I doubt I would. There's nothing on this planet. Why are we trying to fly here? That's the start. I'm gonna walk this way and see what happens. And if I hit the back of it, I guess I'll just start going north. Try to cover as much ground as possible. Still more death than no man's sky. To be fair, they fixed that game, so you can't give it too much flack. It's respectable that they actually put the time and effort in to make that game what they said it was gonna be. It's just annoying that they didn't do it in the first place. Still, most devs would usually jump ship at that point, take the money, call it quits, and then live luxuriously. And ultimate failure, but who cares? They're rich now. So seeing that they actually cared about their project enough to fix it, it's pretty sick. Unless they charged you full price for it again, in which case that's pretty fucking scummy. But hey, what do I know? I don't design games. I just play them and complain about them. Alright, well, fantastic. Nothing has happened. Remember to sleep in every bed in the dream world. Each time you see it, there's always something tied to something. Um, the only bed I've seen so far is the one in my room. I did forget to check it, though, but you are right. I should keep an eye on that. As I said, random events do exist in this game, and it's, it's worth trying everything. flabbergasted <laughs> try right, demo if you want to promote your own stuff then my chat is yours for that considering all your emotes are pretty much promoting your stuff anyway I don't mind if you promote your artwork in my chat at all There's gotta be something here, right? They wouldn't just drop me off on this planet with nothing.
Is there anything on this planet? Oh, I found something. Oh my god. I can't even interact with it. Oh my god, you come on! It does nothing! Probably need an effect to trigger it. Well, this is the danger of exploration is sometimes you come across things you can't even interact with yet because you didn't find the effect first. Probably some kind of alien egg. Oh well. I don't want to hear about what it does though. Keep spoilers to yourself unless I ask for them, please. Unless, okay, let me, let me, let me rephrase that. If, if I have the ability to interact with something and I can't figure out how to, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, if you can just say you need an effect, that's fine. But if I have the ability to interact with that thing right now, then yeah, I want to try it. can't do anything with it. What am I supposed to do? Do I just... No, it doesn't do anything. I can't interact with it at all. Nothing happens. It's just a weird alien egg. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna leave it. I think that's the only thing here. So I'm going to I'm going to finish my uh my loop around. But yeah, that's the only thing in here. I don't see anything. And now I have to find the exit again, so I guess I'll just keep doing this until I run into that. <sighs> no. But now that I think about it, I can't recall how to leave. I think it was a one-way street. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pinch myself awake on this one. I can't find anything else, so I'm gonna dip. Okay, uh, bike. I'm not looking for endings, I'm just looking for exploration. I'll worry about ending some other time. It's the first part, after all, and I plan to use this similar to the way I use Kirby, where I can kind of do it and interact with you guys. Day four. Oh, it keeps track of the days. All right, we got more wallpapers. Let's check them out. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. And that's all I have to say on that one. My favorite guy. He has his own wallpaper. That's sick. Oh, wait. I saw one. You see, that I don't I don't know if I like that or not. It it looks pretty good, but I hate it. That's lewd. Banned. 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 There's one more down here. The little planktons. Oh, look at them. Oh, one of them's happy. What happy little guy? Still not my favorite though. Easy favorite. Actually, I think what I can do is options, random switching. 
So now I think what that does is every time I activate my computer, yep, it'll give me a random wallpaper. Oh, that's cool. Oops. There we go. All right. Channel two, huh? Is there anything else I should know about here? No, I guess not. Let's play a mini game. Puzzle game. I might need some help. Nope. 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 Get me out of here. I I'm not- nope. It's a fucking slider puzzle. <laughs> of course, it's a slider puzzle. I hate this so much. I want to leave. Escape. 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 Where's Q? Does Q let me leave? Does G let me leave? Oh my god, I gotta finish to get out of here. How's this stupid thing work? I want out. Oh, she goes on the side, not the middle? Oh. I did not realize. And I, wow. Almost. Great. I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving. No puzzles. No puzzles for Dylan. I can't leave until I win. <laughs> I'm never gonna win. Back to sleep. It's part of the flowers, shall we? Anyone know why my computer screen has gone blue? Perhaps I should check it out. Hello, ghost man. Could you get off my computer? Oh, what's on the TV today? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to What? What? What 
the hell just happened? <laughs> What's going on? There's a Famicom in here. <gasps> I can play Yumi Niki? What are my effects? Penguin and Steel Drum. No, be Penguin. Oh, yes. Hello, Toilet Man. Fine. Currently a penguin, don't you see? I don't I don't know if I'm progressing. Alright, fine. Game over. Huh? Go backwards? No, I must press on forward. <sighs> Very well. Just gonna belly slide up a slope. Alright, we're going this way, I guess. And slide. Make the jump. Make the jump. Do it. I can't leave. Um... Now what? I seem to be stuck in a video game. Oh, I can hold the button. I think I'm breaking the game. Guess I'll just wake up. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Should do a belly slide again, because it's fun. Alright, we're waking up. Game over. Daytime. Oh, that- nope. Get rid of that. Check the new wallpapers. Well, that's not so good, is it? Oh, we got one up here. Pengi! Oh, look at her! Excellent. Well done, team. So now I have penguin effect. That can be a penguin. A 
I'm not I'm not doing that again. I'm not getting myself stuck in another puzzle that I have to beat to leave. Lizard. It's like Speed Luigi Charmander. Goodbye, Ditto. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna get the bike. And then I'll probably stop there. Or at least do one more round of exploration and then we'll call it. What? Why am I here again? That's so weird. I checked the game last time. Oh, I'm on channel 5. Oh, what the heck? Uh-oh. Well, looks like I lied. <laughs> now I'm here. There's a lot of appliances in my way. There was something behind you when you checked the TV. Somehow, I think you're lying to me. I can't go back and check anyway. Can you... Can you tell it to go away? I guess that's what that wallpaper was based off of. Yeah, that was cool. I love that. Let's go down the stairs. Oh, this place is fucking massive. I didn't want to be here right now. Knock, knock. We had fun today. Oh, I got something. I did not get, sorry. I have put away. I'm taking those back. Where you store effects. I see. Hmm. I see. What a fascinating room. Please allow me to never come back. I know this room, actually. This is a room that lets you dress up as different uh, characters. Because of all the different uh, creators who worked on it. Nice suit. Maybe I have to unlock them? I don't know who any of them are. Well, I recognize that. There's me. Okay. There's a lot of references here that I'm not understanding. That one looks familiar, though. There's a lot of things in here, and I... I think I should leave. This room is fucking massive. Oh, my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And 
now I'm Eeb. What more could you want in life? Okay, where's the exit of this freaking place? So I don't know what any of that was about. But I need to get out of here. Okay, is there anything else? That's the entrance. Okay. See you later. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, I can't leave. Oh, wait, there's... I saw a girl on the wall there. Let's let uh, old glitch face here move out of his way. Hello. How do I get out? The Sanic? Huh. Oh. Oh. Well. I hope whatever's in here, it's a fucking flashlight. can't cross that. I could see something. I can't see anything at all. Just a bunch of blocks. Darkness. And a book. Ah, the power. And about that at all. Well, the power's back on. What do I do? You don't touch the red cubes, I guess. They make you moonwalk. Touch the blue ones. They make you do nothing. Hello. Oh, you're worse. Cannot touch red. This area is walled, so it at least can be explored. Oh, wait, something there. I don't know. I guess we'll just take a look. And now I can't touch the blue ones. There's another red guy. And here's the blue door. Oh, hello. Who are you? Can't interact with you. <laughs> I 
Penguin. Wee. What? Wait a. M Wait a what? Huh? Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Nope. Nope, hate that. Just gonna slide. Just gonna slide my way to the door. Go one more tile. There's nothing here. There's nothing anywhere. Let's go to the basement. That's a whole nother day right there. happy little apartment you got here. I love it. Thank you, floating space yoke. Your neighbor seems to have some problems, though. That cool. Are you okay? I am now in half. Well, that didn't last long. Okay, one last area to check. Let's leave. What? That's different. That wasn't here before, was it? I got out, yeah. I got out. Okay. Flowers. Looking for flowers. Oh, that lights the trophy room. That makes sense since it didn't exist before. I'm looking for two flowers. Oh. I thought those were coconuts. And now we walk around the beautiful landscape with a bunch of little navvies. Try to find herself a nice bike. I'll come across it eventually. Let me go home, please. figured it out. I had to go restart it, basically. And then I cheated it. Yes, hello. Is there a bike home? What I need... This looks suspicious. Oh well. 
I was teleported to this world before, wasn't I? I feel like I was. It was when I was... I talked to the blobby monster. He put me in my hole. And now I just want the bike. Let's try this. north I can go. Or am I gonna hit another one of those stupid houses like in the forest? This is a variant. This is a collaboration. I'm gonna go down this hole now. Am I good? Did I make it? Or did I just plunge myself further into chaos without getting what I originally set out to get again? I'm now lost in the forest. I found paint. I don't want to go to the gallery. I want to go, I want to go to the bike shop. This tree looks different. Take me back, tree. All right, well, this is a bunch of branching paths. But um down here. What the heck are you? I don't want to go to school either. Okay, so this is definitely prime exploration. So I want to do that, but not tonight. Not not tonight. Just take me to the bike, boys. That's all I ask. There's so much shit to look at, though. It's ridiculous. I want to do everything in this game. Get all the wallpapers and see it all. Because this game has so much stuff. I don't mind backtracking to things after I get effects. As long because I'll at least have a guide on where to go. So for now, yeah. I need to get out of this f fence maze. I'll keep this in mind for later though, for sure. And even if I don't, I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> All right, out of there. Where is this damn bike? <clears throat> Can't go north. I don't even know how I got to this point. What the heck? Go oh, east. There's nothing. Ah, look at that. Uh, what did that do? Oh, we're going further in. Hey, look where I am. That it? I can't do anything. I'm trying up and down on each individual path, but I'm not getting any feedback. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's grass, not trees. <laughs> Where 
where do I go? Let me see if I can't find out. Is it because I walked in the center here? I feel like it's because I walked in the center here. Yeah. Yeah, that changed it back to normal. I thought so. I recall Yume Niki having something similar to that. Um... What happened? Why is the world gone? Oh, this is a different area? Oh god, I had to go back. Alright, hold on, hold on. Just, just give me, give me the bike. If only I could remember that thing I stepped on. There it is. Everything is back to normal. Don't worry, I fixed it. See? It's beautiful. There's a door here. I... I love it. Have I been here before? Okay, nice, nice. Nice table. Hmm? Okay, I guess. I don't know. How is that a game? Um. Yeah, you might have to direct me on this. It's getting late, and free roaming is fun, but I'm here with an objective in mind that would make travel a lot easier, so I think I just kind of want it. I don't even know where I entered from, though, is the thing, so directions are usually mapped straight to your entry, so it's easier to figure out. I'm going back to the bar graph. Okay. No, not this room. Oh, I got it. There it is. Found it. Motorcycle. Oh, now we're cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't I the translation's a little bit not perfect. I found it. I found it. I wonder if that opens the thing up. I'm gonna pinch my cheek. I'll do one last little look at the computer and I'll get out of here. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired. I gotta work tomorrow. Pengi. Let's see what we got. We got uh, the glitch world. Didn't really get to explore that, but we saw it. Uh, oh, there's her. She's got a Pac-Man inside of her. What else she got? Nope. 
Oh, we got some over here. It's Kaguya. I guess. <laughs> oh, look at him. Isn't he nice? That's that. Okay, I'm gonna hit random again on that, because it's... Options, random switching, on, yes. There we go. Save the game. Make sure it's saved. Why did it load on that one? Just making sure. Yep. Okay. on this setting. I have a hundred dollars. Okay, now I'm gonna quit here. This will be where we stop for now. So yeah. Wake up. Thank you for watching Yume Nikki. And I will definitely be back with more of that. There is so much to explore in there. And I ain't going to be no detailed walkthrough, mind you. But I do intend to take a look at pretty much everything I can. And once it gets to a point where I'm just walking in circles, then I will probably be objective markering. But that's all. We'll see from there. Till then, I'll see you next time. <clears throat> see you in the next one.